He has returned with the Red Wrigglers. Hello there. Here they are in this lovely bag, gifted from a friend of mine, Jill. Included in this bag with the worms is a whole bunch of coffee grounds and filters, which will be perfect carbon material for our worm friends. Sprinkled in amongst some paper shredded from bad news. That's soon going to be good. And a little bit of straw. Worms need moisture. That's why I have some water here to add into this mixture. Not too much now. You want to make sure that it's, it's wet, but not so wet that it's going to be festering. It has to be the right consistency so that it's wet but when you squeeze it, it doesn't wring out water. I also I also here have some eggshells that have been ground up, given from our, our neighbors. See worms, like birds, they have gizzards and they need some coarse fiber, either sand or these eggshells, in order to effectively digest their food. So the kind of worms that we're using here are red wigglers mixed in with some awesome compost, composted chicken manure. This is going to give a perfect inoculation so that these worms can start to do their trick. Now they'll make their way to the bottom of the bin, away from light. When you have a lot of worms and you're adding in more than a pound, and they're all hanging out in a cluster at the surface, you can take a light, shine it on top, and that will drive the worms down underneath so that they're protected. You don't want to use natural light, so you don't want to leave this bin out in the sun to drive the worms down, because they might die, or in the least, they won't be very happy. So that's my how-to on my worm bin, and I'll give you an update in the near future. Does Ray really know how to look after the worms? Has he given them too much water? Stay tuned to find out.